Hey guys, Ben Lux here, back with our blind playthrough of Blasphemous. So last time... I'm not sure if we did a lot, but I feel like we did a lot. We, um, we found Miriam from Bloodstained. Which is really cool. <laughs> It'll be really cool... If, uh, presumably... I don't know what doing all... I assume it's five. All five of her little things do, but I... It would be nice if you get to play as her. You know? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but we have, we have reached the Mother of Mothers. We've gone through the bridge. Uh, we talked to Esdras, got some kind of key, which, uh, where is that? Oh yeah, we found this area again, Mourning and Havoc. And then we found uh, Library of the Negated Words, which I believe is where we're supposed to go next. At least with this key. Um, we should probably do that because my concern is that we, well, I mean, we have 60% of the map finished, but my concern is that I'll get to maybe a boss or something and screw that up because we haven't gone here first. Um, but... Well, I mean, you could go through this to get to here, but we'll have to go there anyway to get these. So let's let's just focus on this for now. I really thought we'd be seeing this dude's butt. I don't know why. I don't know why I thought he was going to be naked, but but he is. Or he's he's not. I mean, he's not. Uh, we can't go up. We cannot go up yet. Uh, there is something over here that lets us maybe go back, so we might be able to go that way. But I'd rather... I'd rather go this way and figure out what we do with this key. How did I not... Um... Uh, let's see... I hear them reading... My madness does not do it first. Oh. Do they hurt us? I assume... Oh, stepping on the books. They don't like it. Okay, well, that's... And we just have to confirm, right? Oh, that, yep, okay, it does hurt us. Ow, yeah, a lot. Okay. Oh, well, all right, so it takes a minute. Oh, these ones are, like, in weird, weird patterns. Oh, that's the wrong way. So basically, just don't, don't step on the books. Hmm. I didn't think anything was going to be there necessarily, but I saw the, the two things in the two piles of books, and I was like, maybe there's something between them. All right, what do we have here? Another dude that, like, summons stuff? Okay, well, this guy's wearing the green mask of those ghosts. Excellent. Another... Another teleporter. They're really... Yeah, I appreciate that. Because, especially in this game, really killing enemies, all it does is give you Tears of Atonement. Like, they don't... There's no experience. They don't give you drops or anything, so... Wow! Very cool. Huh. Easy 
he's using a book as a uh... so what does this one do send it back oh send all of them well we gotta hit that again I okay Well, so that'll go. You probably need to grab this. Oh, I thought we'd be able to get up there. Okay, never mind. Yeah, you're a dick. And, um... Okay, well... Not the way I wanted to whack them, but, but there you go. Oh, I wonder... Come on, higher, higher. Nope, that's not what I how I wanted to do it. I'm trying to. It's not. I was trying to grab the ladder with uh, by doing that that jump thing, but that didn't work. Um. Hmm. All right, so that's good. It does have a little thing. All right, we'll grab this. This is probably where you want to use the... <sighs> that spell. You know, the bad thing is I can't tell what spell I have equipped. I'm pretty sure it's the... Yeah, it's this one, but it doesn't... It's not like showing immediately, you know what I mean? Oh, and that's, uh, well, you can't go that way anyway. Hmm. How do you get over there then? Interesting. Oh, that's kind of... Nice. That was a neat little thing. What's up, girl? I'm trying to, like, there's the sound of, like, chains or something? Right, we're looking for the door, and more specifically, this has to be a friendly dude. The key keeper? Um, and this is supposed to change once we, um, do we want, I assume we want to talk to him. El sonido no cesa. The sound does not cease. Rectas sobre estos muros olvidados, sin que nadie pueda determinar su procedencia o su ignoto destino. It creeps on these forgotten walls, and no one can determine its origin or its obscure destiny. Por amor a la alta voluntad, hacerlo callar, pues lo ansío desde hace tiempo. For the love of the high walls, silence it, for, have, for I have long yearned for it. He wants me to silence the sound? Por amor a la alta voluntad, faz callar el sonido. For the love of the high wills, make the sound cease. What sound? Um, do I need to, should I put a marker here? Nah, I'll, I'll maybe come back. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, good. This is really cool, actually. Oh, crap, I forgot. I forgot. I saw the... I wasn't paying attention. You've acquired Sacrum of the Dark Warlock. Sacrum, not Sternum. So, like, it's your tailbone, basically. Uh, founder of the Library of the Negated Words, this priest was known by the Sobri... Sobriquay... Sobri... I, my phone's charging. I can't look it up right at the moment, but... Of the Dark One. He was caught practicing sorcery surrounded by pagan writings. Cool. Another one of those guys. So... Hmm. I'm probably not going to be able to get to it before it... Yeah. So I'll just have to... Climb here. Nice. More than half. And then, uh... I guess hit this and maybe that will go back over there and then we'll be able to... My thought was maybe I can jump once it's all the way there, but but no. Alright, well, let's try going up then. Oh, one of those roots. Okay, um... Alright, what's up, buddy? You are rid of guilt. Should be you are free of guilt, something like that. I Man, I want to see what happens when you attack those things, but I don't want to, you know? Because you can. You can attack it, and then, um... Why do you need this to get up there, though? That's very strange. This is actually a really neat mechanic. I, I appreciate it. Man, well, I'm glad I... Ouch. It's really clever. It's like, don't, don't step on the things that make noise, otherwise... environmental hazards become... Yeah, it's pretty brutal. All this... Oh, hey! I'm hurt. I wasn't paying attention to my health. You... you need to. Oh! You can just whack his book. See, this looks... Alright. Okay. Empty bile vessel. I will take it. I appreciate that they're like little, little things. I, I feel like stuff like that you want to re-go through the whole game and just walk every part again just to find all the secrets. This so far, I mean, you know, some of the walls, you know, you'll hit and you'll be like, okay, that, there was no sign. But at least this where it's like, that you're like, that doesn't match the rest of the floor. That I'm, I'm okay with. There's some games, I'll use Bloodstained as an example, in order to 100% the game to get all the achievements, um, you have to get a special ability that it lets you teleport through things, but then you have to teleport off screen through the floor. And it's like you wouldn't have necessarily thought to try that. And it's like, that's, that's kind of BS. That's kind of BS. Or, and by kind of, I mean like, a lot. So... It's like, make it fair, but 
Don't make it BS. Wow, from that... Ah. He's even got like a book strapped to his chest. Um, so that's gonna be a pain, because I don't think I can hit him from here. Maybe I could do this? No. I mean, I... through those as well. So that's cool. Hmm. All right. Does this move that one again? Oh, no. Oh! It moves other the other platform over. Well, that's... Wait, how do I... Oh, I could probably... Worked out for me. Oh, oh, more of you. Huh? Oh, but those don't teleport away. I'd almost, I'd almost rather have those. I think because they, you know, you just have to avoid their thing, and then you're good. All right, well, there's another one of those, and, and something tells me... Something tells me that key is going to be the key. Ha ha ha. To <laughs> the key to those, if you'll pardon the pun. Okay, more of you guys. I didn't know for sure. Right on. This is perfect to get a bile vessel. Yeah, yeah. I mean, almost 2,000, but worth it. Bam. Totally worth it. And usually they put things to smash that, you know, you'll hit the wall as well, but not always. Okay, well. Thanks for knocking me into that. See, this is... Oh, hang on. Let's... Another one of you. We've only seen this guy one other time. Um, all right, that worked out pretty well. I wonder if you could, oh crap. I wonder if you could do something like, ow. Oh, there's another one below us though. I wonder if you could do something like that for, um, to hit walls. What's up? Tomad el siguiente de mis dolores profundos. Dolores profundos. Take the next of my deep pains. Maximum health increased. 
How many is that now? Four? Three? I don't know, but I'm grateful. Okay. Let's do it without the spell. We'll see how... Definitely easier than it was. Back to these dudes. Well, two ways. A puzzle. I would imagine. Well, we'll check out the puzzle room first. Do I whack them? An, an, an anatomy book. Ugh. An anatomy book open the page shows the illustration of a femur. Anatomy book open the page shows the illustration of a tibia. Okay. Page shows the illustration of a kneecap. Okay. Patella. So kneecap, tibia, which is, they're all in the leg. Right? Femur is like the, the big bone that connects your hip to your knee. And then kneecap. But we can't... I don't think we can do anything with them yet. I'm reading them in... First, it was descending order and then ascending order, and that seemed like it didn't do anything. So, um, put a little puzzle there. Hopefully, we can have a bunch of markers, because if not, I'm going to be a little. Well, I mean, it just won't be great. All right, we can go up, or we can keep going to the left. This giant is so weird. I wonder what the story is for that. You know? Whoa, this is different. Is this, uh... Okay, another one of those, but different? Oh, and just touching it hurts. All right, well, we're gonna... Oh, come on, dude. At least it doesn't hurt too badly. Hmm, this is strange. See, this one moves too fast. Oh! That opens the door. Okay. Man, this is annoying. Try another. Maybe we can hit this frickin' dude. Maybe not. Oh! Right on! Hell yeah! Cause it hit him. Okay. Well, now, that makes me feel a lot better, actually. Maybe, maybe both will come back. Okay, I don't... I see. Um, or, or not.
Oh, no, 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 no. No, that'll work. Um, or no, no, it won't, because... Oh, no, that does work. Okay, yes. You've acquired Lorquiana. A prayer that calls forth a barrage of fiery, fi fiery, fiery lightning from the very essence of the miracle, piercing any foe that dares to stand before mea culpa. We are stones of this earth. We are sprouts of these roots. We are in procession united, those who fervently cry out to you. O oh, grievous miracle, get us out of these flames. Well. And then what's to the left? You know? Man, kitty hair is everywhere. Okay. Oh, excellent. And what is that? A dead body, but something else. Phalanx of Aralcarum, the archivist. God damn. How do I get all the cat hairs in my mouth? Exactly. Okay, well... I, I mean, there was no thing that said try talking to him, but he was a dead body. Oh no, this is the dead body. Strange. The doors are deceiving me, they do not want me to go. The walls are the only ones that do not lie. Through the walls lies the way out of this place. Interesting. I don't know why I'm marking all the... Oh! Oh, was this the sound that he mentioned? Yo, Dios dado por nombre, sereno proficio, en su merced, seo. Okay, one of the lore things mentioned Dios dado, and I thought it was talking about Estrada. It's not Estrada, es... something. I, Dios dado by name, night watchman by trade, am at thy mercy. Tenedes. La mía gratitud por haber acallado tan lastimero sonido. You have my gratitude for quelling such an unbearable sound. By the way, also, this guy, the rasp in his voice, I guess, if that makes any sense, really reminds me of... Is it Steve Bloom? I think it's Steve Bloom. He's done a... He did, like, a Spike in Cowboy Bebop. He did, um... Shockwave in the Transformers games. He did, um... If you ever played one of his first roles, I believe, was in, uh... uh Brave Fencer Musashi. Where he did, like... A thief with a dog or something? I don't remember, but... Something like that. No. Estamos en la biblioteca de las palabras negadas, pues prohibidas son y serán las páginas escritas en aquestos polvorientos libros. We are in the library of the denied words, for the pages that lie within these dusty tomes are forbidden and forever shall be. Mi única compañía aquí son aquestas pesadas llaves y las almas errantes que incluso después de muertas ansían conocimiento. All that accompanies me here are these ponderous keys and the wandering souls that even after death still hunger for knowledge. No, maybe he's got the lamp. Maybe Estras uh, actually has a mace. All that accompanies me here are these ponderous keys and the wandering souls that even after death still hunger for knowledge. You acquire the young mason's wheel. Vigilad los vuestros pasos, pues estamos en estancias engañosas. I appreciate the 
watch your step as these halls can be deceptive. I appreciate the, the words. Alright, so... The young mason's wheel, the remains of a miniature wooden cart worn by an apprentice who was separated from his master in a terrible accident. The stone and mortar that enveloped him drowned out his cries, preserving his pleas for help in a freakish echo that now permeates these walls with clarity. This amulet is now imbued with the poor lad's longing for release, increasing the speed of movement of whoever wears it. This will be good for those uh, timed challenges. Father, the walls do not move. The library does not wish its wisdom to escape these enclosures. Its corridors deceive and confine all those who enter in search of its forbidden tomes and ancient secrets. Its wardens, the silent monks who wander between its shelves, know this and are, and are themselves captives of its power. Here we shall remain forever with the thirst for knowledge never to be sated. I hope one day you will read these words and not blame yourself for my death. The penned word wanted it so. Dark. All right, well, we got we got that, and I'm glad. Well, should have blocked. Again. Get, again. Oh, really? Right on. Hmm. Let's not fall that way. Oh, that's why. And then what's below? Oh, well. Oh, and it follows you. Well, that's... So it's not just that it shoots and then you're good. It, it The beam follows. Drop of coagulated ink. Each hesitation on the scribe was a new stain on his scriptorium. Words not written, censored before they were born onto the paper, were powerful too. This cluster of ink grazed by the affliction increases the power of prayers. Oh, neat. The scribe, has ra the scribe had raised his gaze for he had ceased to write a while ago. Hmm. Did I hit the wall? I don't think I did. Crap. Okay. Well. All right. Had to try. The sleeping canvases. Uh oh. Like how? Okay, so are these things? Yeah. Oh, really? Alright, so you hit them and they... Well, they're gonna come back, presumably. Interesting. Okay, that, that did hurt. All right, blocked it, or, you know, parried at least. All right, another one of those. Ah, oh, traps, huh? And a different... So then where... Well, he said go through the library of the negated words. Hmm. Do I go down? Let's try going more to the right. 
That's usually how these things go. Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It makes you wait a second, too. You can't, um... You can't immediately... Oh, interesting. They take different forms? It's really neat. It, like, reforms. Like, his mace falls apart and it breaks and then it reforms. That's really, it's really cool. It's a nice little touch. Definitely need to figure out where this safe place is. Uh, maybe you need to duck. Right on. Oh. <laughs> Okay. The parry mechanic. Pretty good. Alright. We have lots of traps. Oh, hello! Oh, another one of you, huh? Okay, that doesn't... Very cool. Ah. Uh, no going through that, though. Okay. Right, so it's... Muy imp... Okay, well... Muy importante to see how it, uh, how they move. I don't know. Can I go to the... Uh, can I go to the right? The moon is out tonight with a long-tailed gown, and a bull stares at her between the rock rows and the shadows. Another hint of some kind. Hidden passage of some sort. I see the purple petals. All right. Moon is out tonight with a long-tailed gown, and a bull stares at her, at the moon, between the rock rows and the shadows. Stares at the moon between the rock rows and the shadows. Penitente sin nombre. Encontrad a mis hermanos y guiadles hasta mí. Penitent one without a name, find my brothers and guide them to me. Brothers, like the cherub things? Penitente sin nombre. Find my gather brothers and guide them to me. So many... Maybe so. Oh, Esposito, Skyon of Abjuration, huh? Whoa. Um, well. Oh, the baby's crying. Oh, poor, poor lad. So what 
am I supposed to hit the... How long till the baby itself comes up? Oh, crap, that's no good. Oh, my... Wow. Wow, the baby just straight up grabs you and you die. That's... Yeah, that's no good. That's, uh, that's a little bad. You know, that's... <laughs> Instant kill attacks kind of suck a little bit. Well, at least I got some. F you, baby. Aw, oh, man. Ah, oh, why am I? Oh, oh, I saw the, the thing behind me. Heal. Ouch, well. Wow, that does a lot of damage, too. Oh, I'm tanking the damage. Oh, and here we go. Here's the, uh... Wow! hurt. Those hurt a lot. Here it comes. Okay, well. Nice. Hmm, interesting. I don't think it gave me achievement for uh, beating that boss, which is a bit unexpected, but do we keep going? Well, why not? Wow, we got a lot of, a lot of stuff though. Hmm. Back into the library of negated words. I want to see where this goes first, but I can't. Ah, I can't do anything with, with that yet. Also, there's a down. Maybe this goes down as well, and a cherub. I'll say cherub right there. Uh, Alright, well, which, which way do you want? It kind of looks like a mea culpa heart, but... Strange. Embossed Mask of Crescente. Artifact found in the hands of a dead archdeacon in a dusty library. Confessions from Crescente. The ravages of time had taken their toll on the mind of the one I once respected like a father. He has allowed himself to be carried away by the superstition and fallacies of the village, searching for the impossible with his clouded eyes among the altars of the mother. And Dolphos betrays the trust of his most illustrious, taking refuge in the cold peaks with his host of servants, wearing his introspection as an excuse to hide his laziness and lack of faith. Only I, the only one capable of ascending to the marble halls with an adequate response, remain. The forbidden volumes of these endless shelves will not resist the zeal of my searching much longer. Hmm. I was going to say he was the traitor, in quotes. That was sealed away, but he wasn't really sealed. So what do we do with this? It's a quest item. And the fade out is strange. Veo todo desde lo más alto del árbol seco en el que el milagro me ha reencarnado. 
I see everything from the highest point of the dried tree in which the miracle has resurrected me. <sighs> Medium bead of red wax. Okay. Nice. Did we... Did we break that, though, before? Nice. Another... Virtue of mea culpa hath ascended. All right, so we get more now. We are. This is four, right? Yeah. Okay. What do we? What do we have? Spinning attack is combo finisher down, and then what is this? Sacred onslaught. Can we do both? No. Wow, that's pricey. Eleven thousand. Maximum level of mastery in the art of lunge. May a couple cuts the air in such a way that it manages to produce a wave that also produces damage above and below the blade. Definitely do that one, and then uh, as for this, I don't know. I mean, whenever we get 11,000, but we still need 7,000 for the health upgrade, right? Let's see how far this goes. Oh, I see. It's not that much farther, but yeah, it's like above and below a little bit. So if you don't completely hit, you're uh, good. So how do we go down? That's so strange. But I guess we probably have to go back here anyway and go go down. Library of the Negated Words. Hmm. Yeah, there was something else up there. Uh, like something you stick into. More of those red sand things, and, uh... Yeah, that was a neat little boss. I, I remember seeing that in the trailer and being like, that looks cool. Oh, crap. Well, this is gonna be bad, then. Oh, and this thing's not back strange it's permanently dead why well i walked i knelt right into that one ow i like it. got right in the face okay well whoa buddy Okay. Well, I mean, we could stop here, though. Seventy percent. Yep. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um, if you did like the video, please give it a like. It does help, I guess. I don't know. It's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically screwed no matter what I think um, but it's okay uh, questions, comments, concerns good, bad, or indifferent, let me hear them I do read all of them provided YouTube and BitChute tell me about them which is I don't know, 60% of the time I guess, I don't know where the, where the other 40% of comments are going but um, uh, I usually try and get back to people within two to four days uh, if I don't then maybe I never even saw your message, I don't I don't know. I don't know. It used to tell you if your comment was being like hidden or something, but I'm, I suspect now it doesn't. Um, I mean, that was a long time ago, though. So, you know, you'd post and give like, oh, this message is waiting approval or something, but that's not even in my hands anymore. Occasionally, occasionally it does. And I go in and I'm like, oh, it's a it's spam flag whatever or more often than not someone's like hey it's what you're talking about is this video check this out and they put a link and i click on the link 
and I'm like, yep, that that works. Approve, you know, or or whatever. Or there's some like banned word or, or something. They're like, oh, this is this is whatever. It's you. You need to approve this. I'm like, whatever. I don't care. Approve, you know. So if you want to leave a message, go ahead. I I appreciate. It. I read all of them. Um, what is your guys' unique puzzle moment for today, though? For me, it's I saw this video. I think by Indigo Gaming, if I'm remembering right. Um, it was about the, it was like the Quintet retrospective. It went through basically all the Quintet games, like Illusion of Gaia, Soul Blazer, Terra Enigma, um, some other ones that I hadn't even heard of. But um, it was, it was kind of interesting. It was kind of interesting to watch. And uh, yeah, especially even more interesting realizing that Act Razor 2 turned out the way that it did because some dickhead at uh, NX America was like, you know, people really want action games. They don't want this sim stuff. Um, and, and he's realized it. Like, he doesn't deserve any hate or whatever because he's like, that's, you know, I screwed that up and that's something you learn from. You got to listen to your your customers and, and that sort of thing. And And honestly, that's, a really great rule of business as well is like if you're calling something act razor 2 and you're cutting away half of it like all like all this like all these woke shows these days where they they despise the source of material and they're like we're gonna write our own thing and you know use the name it's like then you're not gonna appeal to anybody because the fans of the original stuff you're gonna change it it's not gonna be the same so they're not going to be interested and the people that might be interested are going to be turned off by the name in the first place you know so you're only yeah I, I'm, I'm getting off track but the yeah the act razor thing apparently it's I mean I I, I tried playing act razor 2 and it was super freaking difficult because you had like the uh, Japanese like playtesters that were into hard games and they're like, oh, this needs to be harder. It's not hard enough. And so they turned up the difficulty. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it was fascinating. Like just just that one point alone where the guy was like, yeah, they really should have. Um, I really I, I should have known better. You know, he's like, I, I screwed that up. That was my fault. And, you know, yeah. I was like, wow, no wonder Act Razor 2 was totally different. Um, yeah, and I mean, there were other mistakes that basically killed Quintet as a as a thing too, like the decision not to bring Terra Enigma over. Um, although that was apparently because of so Terra Enigma was only released in Japan and Europe. And the reason they didn't bring it over to America was because uh, Quintet was, what is it? It was towards the end of the Super Nintendo's life and they didn't have a publisher because their publisher wanted to be with PlayStation and Nintendo wanted exclusivity. And so their publisher was like, well, okay, we're gonna go with just with PlayStation then. Sorry, Quintet, we're not gonna publish your game in the States. And they're like, well, well, Nintendo, we've been sticking with you. Do you want to, you know, we're, we're showing loyalty like you wanted. Do you want to publish our game, please? And they're like, nah, we're not, nah, we're not super interested in it. Which apparently was a dumb decision because it, like, Illusion of Guy was super big and Terra Enigma was super big as well. Just not, they didn't do it in the States, which is like half the market. So boneheaded decisions all around. I guess, um, and that sort of quintet started to go down like that after this. So it's kind of a shame, honestly, kind of a shame. But um, yeah, it was it was a fascinating video. Uh, I, you know, I do recommend it. <coughs> Sweet baby Jesus. But that's my uh, that's my new puzzle moment. Hope your guys just good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.